Running on first down, Eckler. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second and six. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. On is the Chargers punter now as he's on to kick it away. Give him three on the return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and ten. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the shotgun, here's Barrett. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? First down, Barrett to throw. Gets it to Meredith, complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. At the Chargers, 37 yards. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Barrett looks to throw on first. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The big man, P.J. Hall, had the path to the QB there. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Working out of the gun, it's Barrett. And he's going to go down again. P.J. Hall. The quarterback sack. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Barrett. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line.
So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the right hash, this from 48. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. Chargers 31, Saints 23. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. Well, there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. L.A. set to take over again on offense, and the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. This pass finds its way to Williams, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Mike Williams. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but, but this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brings up third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. the Chargers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. <laughs> 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. On first and ten, here's Barrett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Leonard. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Field goals are going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice game. Got some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Barrett completes this one to Meredith. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll run it. The ball's out, and picked up by the Chargers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10. Now this one over the middle of his tight end complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Here is Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Intended target. And it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. field alerting everyone to the fumble he's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it yeah and you have to think to yourself and i'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle guys we have the lead just take care of the football don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback the good news they kept the ball bad news it's third and long they'll drop this one off to eckler and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. now as they get ready to take over here and still just down one score we'll see how big of a role that missed field goal plays because it of course could have pushed this to a two possession deficit for them good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Now listen now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme but here you're indoors in a dome you'd think ideal conditions yeah it's one that he would expect himself to make not just us expecting him to make it over the years my theory is very simple the athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better check their background they're all county all state and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes in there to drop him, and that is the seventh time tonight that he has gone down. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So the failure to convert, no doubt, really hurts. But this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning. And that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here. And if so, they've still got an opportunity. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the Bolts have done it. The Los Angeles Chargers are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.